Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Core Conditioning this morning with me, Matty Kay, uh, right here, live head trainer at Maximum Training Camps and also Maximum Personal Training. Ladies and gents, we are here this morning for a fantastic core conditioning session that will tighten those tummies and condition those cores. All right, we are doing, guys and girls, if you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. You never know, I might actually mention you sometime. I like it when people subscribe. I'm only a few off the big number, so the more people that subscribe, if you're watching me live on Facebook, if you could just nip over to YouTube for me and subscribe, I'd massively appreciate that. It would really, really help me out. Uh, for those of you that are watching me live on Facebook this morning, good morning, everybody. And I hope you had a fantastic day yesterday and are ready for the day today. Obviously, we are here this morning for core conditioning to get that day started in the right way, okay? Nice bit of exercise, just gets the blood flowing, releases those endorphins, and just gives you that feel-good factor, okay? All right. Now, this morning's workout, as we always do with the core session, is 20 seconds of exercise, 10 seconds rest, four laps of two exercises back-to-back, -back, and then we change the exercises, all right? Right. Uh, the actual workout this morning, guys and girls, we're going to have a nice bit of uh, static work for uh, plank, but we're also going to do some, uh, some movement work as well. So some gentle, very steady uh, movement, dynamic work with uh, plank. Okay, so it's, But even though we're moving, you still take it nice and steady, nice and slow. Do not rush the movements. That's why we do four sets. I'll tell you every time. That's why we do four sets, so that you don't go too fast. You take your time on making sure that you are engaging that core. Hit session is about getting sweaty, working hard, getting as many reps out as you can in the time. This is about making sure that you are contracting the right muscles through the whole session. All right? All right, then we've also got some great ab exercises in there as well today. So, without further ado, guys and girls, let's get straight on with our three-minute warm-up. Nice bit of stretch and mobility. Limber up the spine, limber up the core. And let's get started. Here we go, three minutes to start. Pull the timer up. And away we go. So, as I always like to start my core sessions, a nice bit of twisting, left to right. I'm gonna to come to my knees because I wanna need as much camera space as I can on the floor for us to do our abs this morning. So I've got some wiper movements, so I need to be able to keep this pad away from the table. Just twisting away. You can do these stood up if you want to. Okay, we're going to get left to right, get dynamic with it, get the blood flowing to the muscles, get yourself working. Class number 92 this morning, guys and girls. Number 92, can you believe it? Eight to go till the big 100. Back to a few twists. Last night was a cracking session. Kickboxing style hit workout last night. Sweaty and hard work and really good fun. I enjoyed it anyway. I think Max did it as well. We had fun, didn't we, Max? <laughs> he, knows, he knows it's time to play with the hand right. Knee taps. Small little movements, just up and down. I'm trying to bite it every time. <laughs> You're a nutcase. Just warm those abs up. Then, hands either side, left to right, heel taps. Here he comes. Good stuff. Stretch it and work it. Legs out straight, flutter kicks, hand under your bum to support the lower back. Lift your head and shoulders, and then just left and right. Slow and steady. Just warm those hips up. Trying to focus on those lower abs. Okay, over onto all fours. Let's stretch out that spine. All fours, so arch the back. Lift the chest. Arch. And lift. Arch. Lift. One more time, arch him. And lift him. Good work. Back to the front. Up over the top and stretch. And then reach out in front. Back up over and stretch. 
back down and reach in front, back up over and stretch, back down and reach in front. Perfect, guys and girls, we've got 12 seconds. We're gonna jump into our workout. First one is forearm plank hold Superman, all right? So, Max, if you the way, let me show you. Down to your forearms, so you can lift one leg and one arm. Balancing on one forearm and one foot. Try and keep your torso parallel with the floor. Try not to rotate, all right? Try and keep parallel with the floor and hold. 20 seconds, as if you're flying like Superman. And relax. Our first exercise, nice and easy, crunches. All right, so legs out straight this time. Oh, hands across your chest, head and shoulders up. Small movement, back down. So you're just compacting your abs and then relaxing off. You're not going all the way up. It's a small movement. So just push down the abs and relax. Over you go, we're gonna change size this time for those supermen. So opposite arm, opposite leg this time. Watch it. That's making it hard, Max. <laughs> Keep holding. <laughs> and relax, good stuff. Really trying to brace that core. Get ready for your crunches, second time. Straight legs. Crunch. <laughs> Come here, crunch, lower, crunch, lower. Oh. Oh. If you've got dog lying around, great way to make it harder. Oh. <laughs> great way to make it harder. Pop your dog on your chest, training with your pooch. Here we go, back to it, original arm. Original arm and original leg. <laughs> Try and focus. Oh. Man, my course and ability must have seriously improved since we started. Having a dog hanging off your hand whilst you're trying to do it. Crunches for the third time. Let's go. Oh. Straight legs, Matt. Crunch and lower. Small little movements. Okay, back to it now. <coughs> Final time for your forearm superman plank. Change legs, remember. Hold it. Keep that core tight, bum down, back flat, torso in line with the floor. All right, crunches for the final time. You ready? Back to it. The last set of these. And then we're gonna move on to our next exercises. Just crunch, lower down, really fire those abs up. All right, have a relaxed 40 seconds, guys and girls. Breathe deep. Just in case he wants to go in. All right. Next two exercises, rotating flutter kicks, okay? So we did flutter kicks at the beginning, but rather than going straight up and straight down, we're gonna rotate them left to right, so you're gonna twist over as you go. Your second exercise is slow reach throughs. So we're gonna start with straight arms, then we're gonna advance it and make it a bit harder and get down to four arms, okay? So, flutter kicks first. You can have your hands under your bum to support your back if you need to, but I want you to try. Try and do it without your hands under your bum. So hands out, legs up. So one to the left, to the right. Rotating flutter kicks. Keep 
Keep that tummy tight. Good work. Over into a straight arm plank then. Reach through. So you're just going to reach underneath your armpit and then swap over. So, reach through. Reach through. Try to keep your bum down the back flat. And twist as you go. Nice work. Really felt that down my lower back as well as my core. Fantastic stability work. Sarah, talking about backs, how's your back feeling? Let me know, I'd love to know, Sarah, how your back's feeling. Rotating flutter kicks. Be nice to know, Sarah, whether those stretches I gave you really helped. Release the tension. And improve how your back was feeling. Sometimes just releasing off tight muscles can really help. Right this time, forearms. Reach three. When you reach through on the forearms, don't rest. The arm that's pulling through, don't rest on it. Just reach it. Makes it a lot harder down there on the forearms. Here we go, rotating flat kicks for the third time. Let's do it. Maxi. Good work, everybody. Keep going. Third time for reach throughs. Like I said, guys and girls, try the forearms, it's harder. But try and keep your bum down as well and your back flat. Rest. All right. Rotating flutter kicks for the last time. Fourth set. Here we go. Arms out. Twist and kick. Twist and kick. Slow and steady, remember? Try and keep your head and shoulders up so your abs stay engaged. Ooh. Abs are on fire already. This is nice, man. This is a good morning session. Here we go. Reach through for the last time. Forty seconds. Let me go and grab his monkey. Oh. I'm back. All right, 18 seconds. Next one, guys and girls. Forearms, slow geckos. So bring in your thigh up to your tricep, okay? Next exercise after that is lean backs. So you're in a sit up position, lean back as far as you can and then come all the way up. So, on your forearms, bring your knee up, back down, up, back down. When you bring your knee up, look at the leg that you're bringing up and it'll help you to rotate and twist into it and get a better squeeze, okay? Look at that knee that you're lifting. Right there. Good work. Second exercise, lean backs. Straight legs again. Sit up, lean back to a point of tension, and then come back up. As soon as your feet start coming off the floor, that's your point of tension. If you can do full sit-ups without your feet coming off the floor, then try and challenge yourself. 
and shorten your range of movement. If you can do them fully without touching the floor, without your feet lifting off the floor, try smaller range of movement, challenge yourself. Here we go. Slow geckos. Squeeze in, look at the knee, twist and look. All the little noises. Lean backs for the second round. Ready? Let's do them. Point of tension and back up. Really get those abs working. Squeeze. I say it on every session. But exhale every time you come up and your abs will engage even more, I promise you. Okay, slow geckos on the forearms. No straight arms, forearms. Slow and steady. Really trying to keep that bum down nice and low. Lean backs. We've got this, here we go. Try and keep your torso in a C-shaped position. So you're pushing your shoulders down into your thighs as you come up. Oh, we've got one more round. Here we go. Forearm geckos. Let's do it. Keep that back flat all the time. Okay. Last set for lean backs. Here we go. Woo! My core is firing left, right, and center. Ah, this is excellent. Ah, squeeze up, lower down. Squeeze up, lower back as far as you can. Squeeze up, keep going. Ah. All right, there we go, 40 seconds rest. On to our next two exercises, guys and girls. So we're gonna lay on our backs, wipers to start, left to right with the legs, and then our second exercise is alternating T-planks. So you're gonna start on a T-plank, and then you're gonna swap over to the other side, and keep them going dynamic during the 20 seconds. We're not just staying on one side, we're swapping between the two. A little drink, get hydrated. Wipers to start. Lay on your back, legs straight up in the air, going left to right. Try your best not to put your hands under your bum, but you can if you need to, to support that lower back. Keep your feet together, legs together, and don't let your feet touch the floor, okay? Do not let your feet touch the floor. So, T-plank to start. Hand down on the floor, feet on top of each other, up into a T-plank, and you're gonna come down, roll over into a T-plank, swap sides, slow and steady. Up into a T. Nice work. Take your time with that, don't rush it, keep that to Keep that tension in the core. Wipers then. <laughs> Do not let those feet touch the floor. Try and keep your feet and legs together. <clears throat> Pull from the obliques. <clears throat> Try and keep your head 
Pointing straight up. Woo. <coughs> Two planks. Here we go. Hand down. Up we go. T position. Twist. Balance. Back over. Hey. <sighs> Told you, proves it's live, but also at the same time, shows you it's not as easy as it looks. Can't be great at everything. Can't be great at all movements either. Just left to right with the feet. Good stuff. T planks for the third time. I think I'll be practicing my stitching work later. Sewing the monkey up. Up we go into a T plank. And relax. Woo! Wipers then for the fourth time. Here we go. Last round of these two bad boys. Legs up. Good work. Slow and steady. Keep control. Perfect. Final one for the rotating T plank. Up into a T. Over. Balance. Brace. Twist. Hold. Squeeze on those abs. And rest. Ladies and gents, we're into our final two exercises. <laughs> so first one, we did a variation of this on Tuesday, but Tuesday we just did the one leg raises. Today we're doing scissor legs on a forearm plank. And your second exercise, the most bog standard of all, a full sit up everybody. The whole movement, floor to sit in and back down. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. Forearm scissors to start. So it's out in a forearm plank. Lift the left leg, lift the right leg. Alternate between the two. Slow and steady, remember. Down, so lift, lift. Don't let your body twist. Don't let your bum come up in the air. Forearm plank scissors. Keep that back flat, bum down. Over we go, normal sit-ups everybody. Straight legs obviously, as we have been doing with the other exercises. All the way down, head and shoulders up, tummy tight. All the way up, exhale as you come up. If you wanna make it harder, don't go all the way up. Point of tension, back down, tap, back up. Tap, back up. Nice work, back into those forearm planks. Scissors, scissor legs. Good stuff. Keep that bum down, don't let it rise up in the air. Keep that back flat. Alternating those legs. Nice, back to your sit-ups. Straight legs, hands across chest, head and shoulders up, exhale. Tap, back up, tap, back up, tap, back up. Keep working, back up, tap, back up, 
Uh, yes. Two rounds down. Two rounds to go. All right. Four arms, scissor legs. Man, I'm loving this morning. Cracking little workout today. Really felt it in the abs and in the lower back. All that core system working together to stabilize. All that core system working together to stabilize. Even fitting the shoulders from the planks as well. Excellent work. Right, full sit ups. Third time. Tap and go. Keep those legs straight. Tap and go. If you can now, we're doing a couple of rounds. Try not to come all the way up. Make it harder for yourself. Come on. Keep working. Ah. One more round of each. We got this in the bag, people. Watch out, pal. Come on, last round now. Keep that core engaged. Turn me tight. Yes. Last round for sit-ups. Final 20 seconds, guys and girls. Nailed it this morning. Push your shoulders into your thighs. Keep your torso in a C position. In a C position. Excellent start to the morning, everybody. I think Maxie enjoyed tearing his monkey to shreds. Keeps him occupied. Right, guys and girls. I'm going to test out the next 20 seconds just to let you guys know and remind you all. The diary is now open for those people that are looking to get a PT session when the gym reopens. That's right. Diary is open. I'm also doing starter sessions as well. So like on Saturday the 25th when the gym actually reopens, I'm going to be doing sessions all day. So if you want to get a session in just to sort of like remind yourself of what to do in the gym, how to train, get in touch, okay? We can do a one-off session if you want to. Anyway, ladies and gents, let's do our quick cool down and then we'll jump straight and then I'll finish them off. So what we're going to do is start by stretching out that lower back. <coughs> bum down, bum on your heels, hands out in front. Keep the dog occupied. Then come up forward, drop the hips, lift the chest. Good stuff. Bum back over the heels, arms out in front. Really big stretch now. Back over to the front. Okay, back to your bum. This time then we're going to go for a little tweak. You're going to put your knees out to your side. Sit your bum down over your heels. Okay, so your knees are out to the one side. And then you're going to lie down. You should feel this down the one side of the lower back. And then come up, and again, still keeping your knees pointing out to the side. Just lift the chest and feel the stretch on the obliques down the side. Just developing those stretches, making them better for you. Okay, swap to the other side. Again, knees out to the one side, bum down to the heels. Okay, bum onto the heels, arms out in front. Feel that one, st one side of the back stretching. That's really tight for me, that side. That's a good stretch. Keeping them out there, lifting the chest. Feeling the stretch again, down the obliques on the side. Nice work, lighten your backs for me. Sticking, we're trying to stretch that lower back. We're gonna bring the knees in, pull them right in so you're lifting your bum up. Okay, tucking yourself into a little ball. That's enough. Then put your arms out, roll your knees to one side, look to the other. Now if you're like me and you're quite tight around the glutes and that knee can't touch, take the hand, pop it on the knee and just apply a little bit of pressure and you'll feel a much better stretch down the lower back and into the glutes. Swap into the other side. 
Okay, knees up into the armpits. Look to the opposite way. Knees can't touch. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure, pulling that knee down and just feeling a much better stretch now down the back and into the glutes. Nice work. Okay, bring yourselves up, back to your knees. Oh, Maxi. Sorry, pal. All right, from here, we're just gonna reach over to one side, sticking with the obliques. Reach over to the other side. Hold. Little twist one way. Little twist the other way. And guys and girls, put one hand in front of you, the other hand in front of you. Now give yourselves a round, a round of applause. And to everybody else that's been training this morning. Massive well done. Really great class. Don't forget, guys and girls, get in touch if you can. If you could pop to YouTube and subscribe to my channel as well, I'd massively appreciate it. It's just Maximum Space PT. Pop on there, subscribe to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. Other than that, guys and girls, I hope to see you tomorrow night for live hit session, 6 p.m. or Saturday morning for live hit and core, 10 a.m. Guys and girls, have a hashtag stay positive, hashtag stay active, and have a tremendous Thursday, everybody. Come on!